Hey guys, how you doing? It's Storyhawk here again. I'm um, reading some stories today from the Entitled People subreddit. Um, first of all, I'd just like to apologise for my brief hiatus there. I had my birthday over the weekend, so I took a few days away from the computer. But I'm back and I'm ready to start reading some stories again. So yeah, enjoy. Entitled twin who got my girlfriend pregnant and entitled parents trying to get me to donate my kidney after they disowned me for being bi. Let's tell the post here. Cast. Fake names, for obvious reasons. Me, Ryan. Brother, Sebastian. Mum, Mum. Dad, Dad. Sister, Jane. Best friend, Isaac. Cousin, Kai. Backstabbing cow. Girlfriend. Husband, Daniel. I, Ryan, and my twin brother, Sebastian, have never ever been close. In fact, he made life hell growing up and my parents didn't help by playing favourites, getting him better stuff on our birthday, only going to see films he liked at the cinema, and giving him extra money for housework, despite us doing the same amount of work. He would always put me down, belittle me, bully me with his friends at school, break my stuff and his, then blame me and was just a pain in general. Growing up, the only people I knew to rely on was my older sister Jane, my cousin Kai, and best friend Isaac who all knew what an awful person my brother was. Anyway, cut to when I was 17 and I had my first girlfriend, someone I loved very much. We didn't have sex because she wanted to wait till her 18th birthday to lose her virginity, but it turns out that she was having an affair with my brother behind my back for half the time we were together and only got caught when it was revealed she was pregnant. I was crushed. She knew how much I hated my brother and she saw some of the awful things he did to me, but she still went and did that. Cheating is bad enough, but to do it with him, of all people. I punched him in the face and broke his nose and made him lose a tooth, but according to my parents, I'm the one in the wrong, and now we have to help this girl who's carrying my brother's child and have to help support them. My brother then said he has no intention of being a father and told my girlfriend to get an abortion. She then ran out of town and I never saw her again. Don't know if she had the baby or aborted, all I know is that she was gone and my folks were still praising my brother as the golden child. I was still the black sheep and failure as usual. Another year goes past and me and my brother still despise each other but I'd started dating again. It was a long while but I found someone. Found a boy I liked. See I'm bisexual and this new guy Daniel I had met at college caught my eye. He was deaf and I studied sign language out of boredom so we got talking and things just seemed to click. We date, fall in love, bring him to my friend Isaac's party to introduce him to my friends and all feels great. At this point the only one who knew I was bi was Isaac but one day walking into a cinema holding my boyfriend's hand I bump into my evil twin. He points, laughs and says some homophobic remarks. I tell him to go fuck himself and I go and see a movie with my arm around my boyfriend. When I got home after dropping my boyfriend home, I knew I'd be facing something as I walked through the front door. I saw both my parents on the sofa, my mother crying about how on earth she could have given birth to someone so disgusting. Was it too much to hope? She saw the light and was talking about my brother. But no, she was talking about me and how I'm a stain on our family's name. My father gets up to yell at me, spout homophobic remarks and slurs. At this point I see my brother up the staircase with a shit-eating grin on his face. He then comes down and says he's uncomfortable with sharing a room with a redacted and my folks kick me out there and then. With what little clothes and money I had I went to Isaac's house and his family took me in where I stayed for six months, actually experiencing family love and affection and Isaac's mother and stepdad I consider my own parents now. Eventually, me, Daniel, and Isaac all get a two-bedroom flat together, and all is good for the time being. So cut to December last year. Me and my boyfriend, now husband, Daniel, are married. Isaac was my best man. My sister and cousin Kai walked me down the aisle. I have a brilliant job in graphics design, had my own house by the sea, and life has never been better. However, I got a call from my sister that my brother was in hospital. I hadn't thought about him that much over the nine year period since I was kicked out, but being reminded of his existence brought up a lot of painful memories for me. I was told by my sister that Sebastian wanted to see me and that it was urgent. 
so I went to the hospital he was in and met my sister outside the front entrance. I ask her what this is all about but she doesn't tell me and that I need to ask my twin. So I arrive to where my brother is, who have my parents at his side and my folks actually look happy to see me, as if what they did to me hadn't happened and Sebastian also looked really pleased to see me. It's safe to say, something was off. Eventually I ask what's going on and why I was even here, to which my brother tells the family to leave us two alone. He looks so weak as before he used to intimidate me so much. He told me that he was dying from kidney failure, and has been for the past few years now, but he didn't have long left. I knew immediately where this was going. He then said he always regretted that we never got along, at which point I told him no. He looked confused and asked what I was on about, so I simply told him I wasn't going to donate my kidney to save him. He looked as if I'd just shit in his food. He then went on about how bad the situation was and that he was really sorry for all the things we did to each other growing up. Like, excuse me? We did to each other? I told him that I just wanted a brother growing up that cared and loved me who wouldn't try and break me every day for 18 years. He then called in our mum and dad and told them that I wasn't going to give up my kidney. Then they started to spout off that I owed them for my existence and that I have a duty to look after my family. I asked them where that duty was when they kicked me out of the house, or where that duty was every time my brother gave me a black eye, or their duty was to look after their grandchild when Sebastian decided he didn't want to be a father. I said for all the things he's done, from outing me to having an affair with my girlfriend and abandoning his child, that this was the universe, and my, way of finally giving back what he dished out, to bite him in the ass. I then turned around and walked out of the room having that be the last time I ever saw Sebastian again. Not sure why they'd want a redacted kidney anyway. I walked past my sister who gave me a look. I gave her a look back, who then in turn gave me a look that said, I understand. After leaving the hospital, I felt as if a great weight had been taken off my shoulders. I went home and never looked back, pleased with my decision. Now, last week, I get a call from my sister calling to inform me that Sebastian had died. She asked if I was okay and I said I was, but I didn't really feel anything in all honesty. She said she understood to a degree as Sebastian hadn't been all that kind to her over the years either. I had my husband and Isaac there to support me. Honestly at this point Isaac might as well be our adopted child since he's living with us till this whole situation with the world is over. The next day I was getting calls from and texts from family members I hadn't spoken to in years telling me that I'm going to hell for being a bad son, being a bad brother and for being a redacted and that me and my husband don't deserve children. Hubby and I have been looking into adoption and surrogacy. This makes me second guess my choice of not giving my brother a kidney. Even in death he's making things harder for me. I did wonder if I was a bad person and if I made the wrong decision. But I knew that if I was in that position, I would have been left for dead. Screw him. Other bits of information that may clear things up. 1. His renal failure was from living a hardcore lifestyle of drugs and alcohol. 2. My folks and sister did get themselves tested to see if they're matches and none of them were. 3. I disowned them of being my family years ago, apart from Jane. So when I got married, I took my husband's last name and hyphened it with Isaac's last name, to which his folks were very pleased about. 4. Some family, Kai's folks and my dad's brother, have actually called to see how I'm doing and say they don't judge me for what happened. Others, however, have continued with said abuse, whom I have now blocked. 5. If you'd been a good brother throughout my life, I'd have done it without a second thought. I'd have done the same for Jane, Kai, Isaac and my husband, but I felt he didn't deserve it. 6. It's unlikely I'll ever see my parents again, and I'll make sure my children will never meet them. My revenge to them will be being a better parent than they ever were. So there you go guys, it was a bit of a revenge crossover if you ask me as well. But um, I really enjoyed reading that one, and I'm, I'm glad to be back. And so yeah, make sure you like and subscribe. Um, I'll be releasing quite a number of videos uh, in the near future. Um, got heaps of time on my hands now, so... Hopefully I'll be able to release them uh, as you guys watch them. So, yep, stick around. Cheers for watching. Have a good day.